Okay, here we are. Um, so, I am now presenting the stars above in... Whatever, in... I spoil Moon Kitty, I spoil mode, because why not? Now, okay. This is the character. Oop, oop, oh gosh, that, that's not right. This is the narrator. This is me. I want to thank you all for clicking this video because it means a lot to me. And I extremely thank you if you are subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, then I suggest you subscribe now. Do it. No questions asked. Just do it. Do it. Anywho, let's get started. Prologue. <laughs> so, Lifeling, a new spirit cat we just meet, is wishing she can be real again so she can actually dream. I, I know it's weird, but I, I was going to make this a musical, so there's that. Um. Spring Kit pops up saying, What in the world is this, Mrs. Lifeling? Or maybe it's Lifeling, I can't remember. Who are you? Excuse me, S Spring Kit, uh, who are you? Dude, I, I, I was here s several moons ago, remember? My dad Fox done kill me. Wow, that went dark really fast. Anywho, second part of the prologue. This shirt, Whisper Flight. And my cat, Midnight. Are having a conference. Because why not? Did you get that? I'm, I'm too old to forget. To not forget. And then it's just sitting there, possibly picking death berries for her pies. No one gets the joke unless you've read that you've seen um berries for this berries for this snake recreated. So anyway, chapter one. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, nah, you think I'm really doing chapters? No, of course not. Um, anywho, now, all eight kids are playing in the nursery because they can, and they're super rowdy, and why not? So Peakfall is just, the queen is just super overworked at this moment because I was gonna have someone draw the other queen. We. Just a second, let me, um, follow up and see what the heck is Hood's leaf. That leaf, whatever. Okay, just a second. Um, ah, wrong app. Ah, sorry, this is taking super long. Um... Stars above, script in Google Docs. Oh, Leaf Shine, sorry. I can't remember my own OC's names. Anywho, Leaf Shine isn't here, so it's just Peak Fall. Because Peak Fall's amazing. Okay? Okay. Now, and the kids are outside when Hop Hope Kit. Sneaks away. Oh no. That that's that's crappy, but we're not gonna judge, okay. Um <laughs> Hope Kid is about to fall off the edge 
of the background and disappear forever until Whiskerpaw jumps in and saves her app. Ah, saves Hope Kit. Why background? Because I'm too lazy to draw a cliff, of course. And meanwhile, Whiskerpaw, I'm sorry, but I it, it's hard to do this with Google Slides. She, Whiskerpaw, is now falling off of the edge of the background. And Shrewpaw, who is also supposed to be drawn, but I'm too lazy for that, is devastated because we got to have some love triangles in here. Anywho, we meet Cloudy Moon, the grumpy med who ju- who grudgingly agrees to adopt Hope Kit for a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't really care, to be honest, but, uh, someone give the, the darn kit to me, I need to heal, but, uh, if she is not gonna come, that, that's fine, I, I can just sit here, maybe take a morning nap. Okay. Now, Hope Kit is magically healed because this is I spoil and I don't really give the fox stuff. Um, so we can begin the ceremony. Moss Star, uh, Moss Star with three S's is promoting all the kits. Side note, he names Hope Kit to Fallen Paw because of her leg injury, which you will see in the beautiful art I have done. <laughs> Oh, now, now I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Um, from this, Nightpaw, one of our main characters, is thinking about how he loves Willpaw, another main character. Maybe he's being a little bit too, um, enthusiastic, but uh, that doesn't matter. Because Willpaw is now interrupting his thoughts and says, Nightpaw, are you alright? Anyway, I'm going to go off to the forest completely all alone, so come get me if you don't see me for a while. Yes, this is completely idiotic of, um, the widow paw, but we don't judge you, okay? This is an ice spoil. Nobody judges. As Will Paw's all alone in the forest, we flash to Dawn Paw's life. Dawn Paw's already learning how to poison cats. I should have added Midnight to the side, uh, to the slide, because Midnight would be a great person to teach Dawn Paw how to make pies. But uh, this is an ice spoil, so we should really keep it moving. Finally, break time is over. Night Paw's siblings, Ivy Paw and Fern Paw, you can't tell them apart because even though they look different, nobody knows really. So. Uh, our call, Ivy Paw and Fern Paw are calling Night Paw via names because he has a crush. Okay, first we'll never do this. That that just mean. Um, so they're they're just walking off. Ah, boom! Out of the scene. Nobody, you, they don't exist anymore. And then Don Paw interrupts. Interrupts it just barges into the scene and says I know someone is gonna have a heart attack and you will kiss a tree before walking off to join Fern and whoever Fern and Ivy paw So then we skip to Willow Paw's life now Will Paw's all alone in the forest with two strange cats walk up to her Oh No, are these the villains in their story? I think they are, actually. Um, one says, Widow Pa, I've been watching you for a while. Do you want to be my mate? We're going to have lots of kittens, I sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Bumble stripe number one here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is romance at its finest. I'm sure she'll say yes. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> right. No. Oh, 
guess I'll have to kill you then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being extremely slow. What the? No! No, 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 no! I, I don't get help! Willow Paw, I can, I can defeat these bastards all by myself. Because I'm a main character, but I'm not in ThunderClan, but who cares? Because I'm a main character, and I have a crush, so I can win any battle. No, you are too scrawny to fight off these weirdos. Um, I'm gonna go get help, okay? Okay? Oh, wait, I just realized this is so much good art. I mean, these... Wonderful three characters here. They look amazing, right? So, it's now time to appreciate our ama um, amazingly talented artists and our artists artists for today are not in who comes up with a majority of our video ideas because they're just that amazing. Okay, and we have Ro Robin the Cat, Robin the Cat, a member of MKA, and me. Because, so, uh, whoever that was from MKA was gonna draw something, but I'm, I'm impatient, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the story. Will Paul runs off to get help because that's just the person she is. We then she runs into a uh, resin during a peaceful clan meeting. Everyone is annoyed, annoyed until she tells them what happened. Everyone comes to the crime scene. Surprisingly, the villains aren't scared at all. Oh no, we're all gonna die, says Nightpaw, who is probably the only one gonna die, but since he is the main character, we have to make, make up, uh, I can't speak, uh, yeah, I don't know the word, okay, Nightpaw attacks Whisper White, or at least tries to, because he's so scrawny, um, but suddenly, Fallen Paw, the one with the, um, back legs that's injured can i zoom in on this um no i can't oh no um and she is amazing uh art though okay is is behind whisper flight and kills him because whisper flight might be a total idiot because he's so old and uh, no offense to old people by the way this takes a lot. Oh, I should have animated this, but it's fine. It's fine, okay? With Whisper Flight dead and not speaking and not alive, thanks to Fallen Paw, who has amazing art, by the way, Willow Paw and Night Paw tag team it, eventually killing Death Shard. Wow. He's dead. With both of the villains dead and my horrible spelling for the script, Nightpaw confesses his love for Willowpaw in front of everyone. Willowpaw, I love you. Just, just know that. I have no clue what you just said because I'm almost death because of the whole battle. And surprisingly, all of the cats here don't do anything. <laughs> Um, also, may I say that Mostar stayed back because something tragic is going to happen. A Love and Moon time skip or something, at least the apprentices are becoming warriors. So, Nightpaw, Willpaw, and others are made warriors. Nightpaw and Willpaw, Night, Nightpaw into Nightfoot, and Willpaw into Willowfur. Except Dawn Paw's just there because her mentor is in the medicine den, possibly eating drugs, aka cadmint. Um. Anyway, 
Then Mostar with three S's has a heart attack. Oh no! You'll just have to stay tuned for what happens next. Yeah, that's about it. But hopefully I can edit this thing. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Because it was fun. And I hope I don't have to do the voiceover. And I hope people remember can hear my voice. So, there's that. I hope you all have a wonderful day rest of your day and I hope you're feeling amazing because I'm feeling amazing because I just made so many crappy jokes and probably none of you are laughing but it's it's enjoying my day I'm enjoying my day uh well it's almost seven during my time so I'm gonna quit recording and I hope all of you have an amazing day. Also, may I just say that this is wonderful art. Okay, I tried. There's Wish Star and me and Tumble Blossom and Moonlight. Don't judge, okay? Don't judge. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you watching, like I said again. Also, I will share the link to that slideshow. Or whatever. Um, I will share the link to this amazing slideshow. That way you can see all of my crappy art. Actually, it's not pretty crappy considering that I got a bunch of artists. But you can watch this. And also, if you're going to click this link to for more info, please go into present mode. It worked. I just want you to do that. Okay? Alright. I hope you have a wonderful day, my friends. And why do I keep procrastinating on ending this video? Okay, we're gonna do it. Bye. Ah, uh, voice crack.